Full drive Husqvarna, big wheel in the back. Single point uh, adjustment. You adjust all four wheels at once. With a Honda engine, I got in as uh, for bartering for a tune-up on. I got this one in a snapper, and I tuned up another one. And this is this is uh, one of the ones that I got as part of that deal. Um, I briefly showed that this does run. I believe uh, it, I'm gonna need to clean the carburetor. Um, I've already power washed it. Probably sharpen the blade, change the oil. You know, probably just a basic tune-up on this one. And uh, I may have to put a new pull cord in it because the pull cord seems to be a little short. So let's uh, take a look at this one. I'm a little tired from uh, working on a, a free lawnmower I got. Just So here's the air filter. It's not bad. Just going to shake it out and put it back in. But I'm going to go ahead and take this carburetor out and and clean it. Just looking this uh, um, Husqvarna over. This is probably a 22 inch. Uh, this is where the wash port would go. It's missing the wash port adapter. Uh, the, it has a bag. It has a clean. And uh, well, it has it, ha it has a fuel shut off, which is shut off. And there is there is some fuel in there. It, and it smells good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take the carburetor out and clean it. It does run, it just takes a little bit to start, which probably means the carburetor is a little dirty. Okay, I, ha I ha have the fuel shut off here. This is on, this is off. Um, I have cleaned this already. I probably could clean some more in, in here, but whatever. Now, to get the carburetor out, because I can just look into the in the flap, I see it's um, got some junk. Is everything's 10 millimeter? So I'm gonna use my. I will clean this out probably with water or something. So here's our carburetor. This is a uh, auto choke carburetor. Uh, this will be one of the first auto choke uh, Honda carburetors I've dealt with. I've dealt with only the manual choke ones. The old, which are on the older models. So, first thing I'm gonna do, and then I don't, oh, that was quick. <laughs> it's already out. Uh, usually you have to pull them out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take those, uh, take these out. I hate these, uh, These, uh, this style of uh, hose clamps, probably be a little bit of gas that comes out. Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, drop or two. And then, uh, remember, throttle this one, uh, the spring one goes in the small one. So, and I know it is leaking some ga uh, gas out of the carburetor, that's expected. So, if you need those pliers, Take off, this, there's your carburetor. Let's go clean this out. It looks filthy. Okay. If it doesn't want to open up, take the back of a, screw, of a screwdriver. Just do that and it'll pop out, most of the time likely. So let's take a look at this. This is pretty clean. So it looks to me this is gonna be a quick and dirty. And I like those. Spray it in, wipe it out.
Ooh, that's not good. There's the gasket. There's some junk still I'm trying to get out. Down here. This is a uh, brass brush. It's kind of soft. There we go. I think that's good enough. Just got to get that uh, remnants of the towel out. Okay. Spray here. It should come out through the... There we go. It should come out here. Now, you want to spray all the little holes in there in here. You want to spray. And on the throat other side. Okay. Now you gotta take this screw out. Let me get my Rinse that off, get the needle, stick the needle in. Angle the needle down into the hole, X, like so. Get the hinge pin and let's uh, put it There we go. It's all that. It's all together. This. Just making sure the it mounting area for the uh, mating area for the gaskets clean. I can put this bowl gasket cork in place fell out it should be it's still functional so stick our cleaned bowl on put the bowl nut on Okay, that should be good enough. Just look inside the carburetor. <laughs> Try to spray out anything you see that's... Oh, this should be good, good to put back on. And a note on these auto choke Hondas the auto system. This is that plate. Uh, you go over here. Well, inside of here, this is the plate. Hang on. Inside of here, where that is, that gets. That's what controls it, and it goes from a therm. After a, a right here is the temperature sensor that pushes on it. So it, it goes in like this, and it'll actuate the uh, choke. Okay. Put reassemble the carburetor, put this on, which has contains the auto choke sensor. There. You see that kind of just presses in there. And hang on. <laughs> things about these Hondas that makes them so difficult is the um, is how you put back the uh, carburetor it's a little, little tricky 
so this is the plate put the gasket on kind of work it backwards put the uh, studs in here put your gasket on stick your carburetor on putting it through the holes like so reattach the fuel line hang on and uh, you need to get your pliers to for that for the uh, hose clamp Half the time they don't work. Can't they use regular ones? So, better vantage point from over here. Sorry for that, folks. Okay. Holding. While well, I'm supporting the studs here, I'm going to put this is the auto choke part and gasket. Here. Okay. Then stick your PVC tube on. And let's line this up. Here. and tighten them down hand tight with your, your 10 mil socket. I'm an idiot. What do I got in my hands here? Yeah, the linkages. Do back on the linkages. Okay. See if I can do this without really taking it out. Okay, there's the spring and There we go. Of course, then all the all the bolts came out. Double kind of makes these a little bit of a challenge to reassemble. But as you can see, the linkages are look to be right if you compare it to what I showed earlier. Now we put this on and stick it over the
That's all. That's all. Try. Yeah. Let me show you what kind of blade I was that was on this. This is scrap metal now. It's a 22 inch. I got this brand new one. Neighbor moved away and he just gave it to me since I needed this stuff. Do this kind of stuff, so I'll just stick this one on. On the blade, it fits perfectly. Uh, it's 22 inch. I'll just put this on with my impact or so. Okay, I'm gonna give you a start here. This will be the final start. I will go ahead and change the oil and sharpen the blade. Uh, the um, everything seems to be in order now. Uh, I did have to, I did this off camera, undo these three bolts, spray some WD 40 in here so that the recoil would, re would uh, come back. So here's your final start. Uh, this was uh, bartered for my services of a tune up on a, on a lawnmower. I got two lawnmowers for the tune up of one. Uh, cleaned the carburetor. It wasn't that bad, but whatever. I uh, power washed the deck. I, if I haven't already, I'll sharpen the blade, unbalance it, and um, change the oil. The air filter's fine. Next time, too. See you later.